This is your no BS guide to the A1 Spirit, and we're going straight into it. The A1 Spirit is a medium-sized bomber from Crusader Industries. The Spirit chassis is by far one of the most beautiful designs in the game. This ship is sleek with a high-tech feel. The interior comprises of a cockpit with two seats. It is well designed. You have great views with enough space to keep track of your target. Two MRTs are just at the lower half of your view, allowing you to easily glance at the info you need. You can find a shared radar just off to the right side of your screen from the pilot seat. Moving back, you'll find two beds, storage space for two armor outfits, two racks for personal weapons and equipment, and shared storage spaces. You'll find a kitchenette with two fridges. Right after this is a bulkhead that hosts most of the important systems for engineering. Here you have a radar, avionics, gravity generators, and life support. The 10 bombs resides in the mid section of the ship. Five on each side leaving enough space to walk through without issue. At the back of the mix section you'll find a terminal that will most likely be for the bombing mechanism. At the end of this is a cool looking blast door. At the back of the ship you'll find the components and the entrance to the ship. Some of its unique exterior features are the warning lights for the ramp, retractable turrets and weapons and also a little hidden secret. You can find access to the fuel port here. Most people are not aware of it. This ship is 47.5 meters long, 44 meters wide, and stands 10 feet high when landed. Its armament comprises of two size 3 fixed hardpoints on the wings, two size 3 gimbaled hardpoints on the nose, and a size 2 turret with two size 2 hardpoints that sits on rails that can be swapped between the back and the top of the ship, adding to the ship's combat versatility. This totals 6 front facing guns allowing this ship to do some serious damage if the opportunity avails itself. It has 2 size 4 missile racks that can hold 2 size 3 missiles per rack. What makes this ship shine is the 10 size 5 bombs it can hold. These bombs are capable of doing some serious damage. I've tagged the video in the top right corner of this video if you want to see it in action if you like to see the amount of damage you can do, in which you can check out after this video. This ship will cause havoc during the Jumptown events. Also, CIG intends to add bomb and run missions which will be perfect for this ship. It also has one size 2 shield generator, one size 2 quantum drive, one size 2 power plant and one size 2 cooler. Flight in the A1 is a dream. Its pitch, yaw and turn rates are superb for its size. It's a very fast and responsive ship. It has enough shielding to quickly cruise in, drop bombs and evade. When evading, its top turret can swing back to help deter assailants during exfil. Its ability to turn on a dime allows it to keep its guns on target especially against ships its size and larger. With 6 front facing guns makes this ship a potent dogfighter against its size and up. But it's not really meant to stay under sustained fire as you only have one size 2 shield generator. It's best to use this ship with hit and run tactics with its bombs. This is why it's fast. Although the pilot has 4 size 3 lasers to its disposal. You really don't have enough capacitor to hold sustained fire for a long time. If you choose to engage other ships in combat, make sure not to get hit by a missile. One hit is enough to put your hull in red. Currently, there is no other medium sized bomber right now in the game. If you're looking for something bigger, you can go with the A2 itself. You must be interested in bombing in Star Citizen. If you want to know how to do this, you can check out this video here. My organization Phase 1 Industries is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you're interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, I'll see you on the next video.